Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So as you can see, I've just shoveled the driveway. But one thing that's left to do is we've got to try and get all this snow off the RS. And I've got an idea. So let's see if it works. That was awesomely good fun. Right, let's get the interior cleaned on this car then. Right, so with all the carpets hoovered and all the plastics cleaned, what we're going to do now is we're going to focus on the car mats and the seats, because the seats are in a really bad state. But one thing you might have noticed was that when I was cleaning this, what I actually used was a little bit of hot water and some fairy liquid, or just on a cloth, and just wiped it down. Reason being is, all-purpose cleaner can be quite aggressive, and same with a brush, it's quite aggressive as well. And what I've found in the past is that it can actually take the lettering off of these buttons and things. So I steer well clear of using all-purpose cleaner on things like this. But the end result's just the same. It still looks really good. It's nice and clean. So anyway, with that, let's go on, clean some car mats and clean some seats.
So the seats are looking considerably better than they did, that's for sure. Still a couple of marks I just can't get out, which is rather annoying, but it is what it is. So I'm going to go and dispose of this in a safe manner, and then we'll get on with protecting all the plastic. Right, so now the interior is done. Let's get the outside a ceramic coating. And the reason why we can do that is it warmed up about 15 degrees in Scotland in the last like 24 hours. So this is perfect time to get a ceramic coat in the car. So let's not beat around the bush. Let's panel wipe all the panels. Let's get on with it. I kind of just gave you the highlights of the ceramic coating. Obviously didn't show you my ceramic coating the entire car because there'd be an awful lot of footage you'd have to watch. But she's looking absolutely spectacular now. Really impressed with how she turned out. So the car's now going to sit here for about 12 hours, give or take. Let the ceramic coat fully cure. 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to move this car outside and start on the white one. Because I'm still waiting on the lock and wheel nut keys to put new tyres on it. And I've got one of them on order right now. So with that, hope you enjoyed the episode guys. Hope you're keeping well and hope you're keeping safe. Like I say, in next week's video, we're going to concentrate on the white one. And it's got a fair amount of damage on it. So I'm looking forward to getting started on that. So with that guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.